Good morning, and welcome to this special Good Friday Chapel service. This morning I brought along with me my phone. It has an app on it that gives me directions to places. And then it also tells me how long it will take to get there. So I could put into my phone that I want to visit my grandchildren in Tennessee, and I plug in their address and it would tell me how to get there and, and how many hours it would take. It would take me five hours. Or if I wanted to see my grandchildren in the state of New York, it would take me eight hours, my phone tells me. And if I wanted to go to Florida to see my daughter and her husband, I put their address in, it would tell me it would take 17 hours. That's a long trip, isn't it? Have you ever been on a trip with your mom or dad and it was getting long and you asked them, <clears throat> how many more hours will it take? This morning on this Good Friday, I want you to think about this. What do you think was the most important hour in the whole history of the world? What was the most important hour to Jesus and the most important hour to us? Now, if you answered the most important hour was when Jesus was on the cross, then you answered correctly. That was the most important hour. In fact, Jesus once said, this is in John chapter 12, Jesus once said that for this hour I came into the world. Everything that Jesus taught, all the miracles that he did, led up to this hour when he died on the cross. Now, why was that the most important hour? Because of this. Because Jesus on the cross took away our sins. Jesus became guilty of all that we do wrong, all the words we've said wrong, all the things we've done wrong, even the wrong thoughts we've had. Jesus became guilty of all of that, and he took it away for us by taking our punishment in our place. You see, sin is what makes everything bad. Sin is what, what makes us hurt. It's what makes us sad. Sin is, is why we die. And sin is why, without Jesus, we would suffer in hell forever. But when Jesus went to the cross and took away our sins, he fixed everything. Now, does that mean that you'll never be sad? Does it mean that you'll never get hurt? Does it mean that you and I will not die on this earth? No, it, it doesn't mean those things. But it means that because Jesus went to the cross, we'll go to heaven someday to be with him. And there in that perfect home, there won't be any more sadness or any hurt or any more death. Just a perfect life with him. When Jesus rose again on Easter morning, just three days after, then that was God's promise that Jesus had taken away our sins and fixed everything. So you see, this is a very special day that we call Good Friday. A day that Jesus went to the cross and fixed everything for us. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Lord Jesus, on this day, Good Friday, when we remember the most important hour, the hour you died for us on the cross, Lord Jesus, help us to remember your great love for us and how you willingly suffered so that our sins could be taken away. Lord Jesus, help us to celebrate on Good Friday and then Easter Sunday that you have made everything right again and that we will live with you forever. Lord Jesus, help us to tell this story to others that they too may know that good news. In your name we pray, amen. And would you please join with me in the Lord's Prayer this morning? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, 
and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look on you with favor and give you peace. We'll close this morning with a hymn, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. Uh, we'll get it up on the screen and the music will play. And you can join in singing if you would like, or you may just listen. Thank you.